Okay, so we're gonna get into it. <clears throat> so like I said, this is a piece of dog bane corded or dog bane stock. This is a second year stock. Now, uh, if you go out in the wild and you're looking for dog bane or you're looking for uh, milkweed, you, you'll find the first year plants that are still growing right now and often near them, if it's, a, if it's like a healthy wild patch, you'll find this last year's leftover stalks and those are the ones that you want to use. They're, they're solid, they're dry, they're kind of stiff and uh, usually they're just like bent over somewhere near where the other ones were growing. Okay, so the first step with this length of dog bane stalk, this is a short piece of it, so take it and we're gonna snap it. All the way down and I'm breaking it, it kind of naturally wants to break into four sections. So if you look here now, it splits open and there are these four pieces that come out. I did that with my hands. If it's too hard for you to snap it, you could always step on it whatever but you want to break break it into these four lengths and then separate each of the four pieces all the way down like this so just kind of running down it take one of those pieces and you can see there's this inner pithy material on the inside and then on the outside it's kind of this smooth shiny material now what i'm going to do is just start I snap it, not all the way in half. You know, I don't want to tear this apart. What I'm trying to do is there's a, there are fibers in between this white pithy and this outer darkness are some very thin, fine fibers. You can kind of see it right here. And so we're trying to get at those fibers. So what I'm going to do is kind of lightly snap it and I'm peeling this back peeling it back and off and once I do that you can hear that wind in the background that's why I'm not out there when I peel it back you'll see that what I'm left with is this fine little trailing thing here so I'm just gonna keep doing that like it's these hard little inner pieces that I'm snapping off and slowly removing And uh, you can see some of the fibers actually stuck to that. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. Uh, sometimes I do better than others, which is why if I, if I just try and take this brown piece and strip it down like this, <clears throat> a lot of the fibers will stay on that hard white inner pith. And so that's why I snap it one at a time and try to peel it back slowly to see if I can avoid that happening. Just like kind of peeling that up and back, just getting this one little piece off and tossing it to the side. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going like that. All right, so there you have it. We've got the pith inside pithy layer off down to the fibers and the outer kind of like outer bark of this plant this outer skin yeah maybe i'd call it a skin it's a uh, it's kind of hard and brittle um and so we want to separate that from these fibers in order to do that what i'm doing here and i'm going to try to make this visible for you is i'm just grabbing a hold of it you can actually see it's already flaking off there. So what I'm gonna do is grab a hold of it between my thumb and my pointer fingers and press it together and rub it, just like this. Now when I do that, you can see a lot of that flaky skin just kinda falls away. And so I scoot over and do it again. Just kinda pressing it and rubbing it between my fingers and in rubbing it, a lot of that, a lot of that stuff starts to, that skin just falls away. And so, I just keep doing that. It doesn't have to be perfect, just, just get most of it off. 
it's okay if there's a few little flakes on there. I mean, if you're really wanting to make something extra nice, I, I've done this before to say make a piece of jewelry or something like that, I will take the time to get every little bit off. And it's cool, it looks really cool, but it's not essential for, for making cordage. Now, the goal, like the point in doing this, the point in getting the skin off is that we want to have each of the tiny little fibers in this plant to be to separate them from each other and uh, kind of as their own little individual entity and then whenever we bind them back together they're stronger than if we leave them as a whole initially I don't quite understand the physics of that but I know it works Okay, great. And so now you can see that I've gotten almost all of that bark removed, the outer skin, and you can start to see all the individual fibers of the inside of this plant. So now that we've got that, the next step is the reverse wrap, the actual cording. So here we go. Mm -hmm. 